Hello, my love bugs. Welcome back to Kara's Love Techniques. I am Coach Kara, and today we are here with another relationship topic, and that being how to keep the honeymoon phase. All right, so let's just get started. So listen, guys, everyone always says, says the honeymoon phase only lasts a certain length of time. And I was pondering on this. I heard, um, I was watching a show and they were talking about it. And I was like, no, that's not true. The only reason it is called a honeymoon phase, well, based on the moon or whatever, but it's by choice. People choose to stop focusing on the person once they get them. Okay, so you give it two weeks, maybe a couple months or whatever, to keep that phase going and then they begin to kind of just like do their own thing so if you want to keep the, the honeymoon phase ever present it takes action it takes being present it simply takes focusing on your person like on a daily basis focusing on them showing your person attention in certain ways. It doesn't have to be the same way every time. But when you put your focus on something that is of grave importance to you, it becomes high priority. And it becomes of your, your daily regime. You know, you just do it naturally. You should do it naturally anyway, just out of love. I want to focus on my person. And I think when people, couples, they become... A bit comfortable as time goes on complacent I don't have to prove anything to you anymore I don't have to flirt with you anymore I have you now so what's the point let's just be serious and marry no you can have the honeymoon phase when you put effort into doing so both of you consciously you can even have a conversation about it babe let's never go stale I want to keep this fresh. So how do you do that? By simply showing love every every single day in some way, no matter how grand or small. You have to show acts of love. Or if it's just through your verbiage. So say something that is, I don't know, arousing or uplifting, encouraging, positive you know, comment the meal or the way they did something, you have to display acts of love every single day. Again, it has to become like a ritual. Leave a love note. You know, do some little texting in the midday, you know, sex them something, you know, sexy or whatever. Keep it fresh. Keep it fun. There are many, look, I'm a very creative creature. OK, I can think of hundreds of things that you can do on a daily basis. You can even do things the same, the same way, but just different, the same type of thing, but just differently. So there aren't any excuses of, oh, I'll get bored of that. OK, no. OK, you are in a marriage now. Your focus is on the other person because you have to remember in order to have a solid marriage, it's going to take two people being active, showing love. Okay. Love is a verb. So with, you know, you have to be active, show some sort of action on a daily basis. Have unplanned dates. You're both just lounging around watching a show or whatever. Hey, how about we go do this? Oh, come on, come on, come on, let's just go. Let's just, just, just up and do some. Everything doesn't have to always be planned because when you plan, it kind of becomes a bit mundane and uh, too routine-ish when you plan a date. Okay, so I got to have a date with my person. And did, no, you catch them off guard. Go do something spontaneous. It has to be fun. Oh, but we have kids. Listen, when you become married, your married life automatically becomes a daily plan, okay? Which means you're always going to need contingency plans. You were already aware of that, right? Hopefully. 
So with that being said, that's what babysitters are for. They have services to come and, and watch your child or your children. It's an investment, but hey, so is your marriage. People aren't trying to invest any longer. We're trying to do things the easy way, you know, um, just doing the bare minimum just to say, hey, we're still together. You still need to talk. Talking to your partner every single day. I don't care if it's small talk. Because when you're engaging, even if it's if texting, if texting is your thing throughout the day, you're still communicating. You're sharing your ideas, your what your thoughts are. And I think a lot of disconnect comes into play when couples stop communicating. They stop sharing what they think. Especially a lot of that was done before you married. You share everything on your mind. You share all those things, I guess, to try to entice the person. And that usually works because it makes you seem more interesting, like you have more going on, either it's positive or negative. But when you stop engaging with your person, sharing your thoughts and your feels, you may not be aware of that, but you become slowly disconnected. So talk to your person as though they are your best friend because they are, they should be. They should be someone easy to talk to, easy to listen. And, and yeah, and that's how you keep that bond because they're going to be willing to want to listen to you and talk every day. But if you guys do this thing every so often, when you speak, it's like, okay, you're like strangers. I see this all the time. Remember, I'm a coach. So it happens and it can easily happen if you allow it. Another thing I want to talk about is romance. romance. Romance is a big part of the honeymoon phase. It doesn't have to be anything big, people. It doesn't always have to be about sex. It could just simply be about intimacy. If you have the kids out front, you put them to bed, you light some candles, and you guys just chill, have some champagne, and talk. You know, cuddle, play footsie, whatever. But you definitely need romance on a daily basis. Oh, it's starting to sound like a lot of work. I know, but it isn't. Not when you love your person and you want to flirt with them and spank them on the butt as you're walking past. Kiss them on the forehead. Leave some little love notes. Pop up at their job. Oh, honey, I brought you lunch. You know, that sort of thing. You have to keep that going. I know, but I'm busy. Oh, you shouldn't have gotten married. You should have not gotten married if you're too busy. <laughs> Your marriage is high priority. Because if you're not doing all those things, oh boy, you wait and see what else will be keeping you busy later on. So if you're trying to keep the honeymoon phase, you have to always engage in intimacy in some manner. You know, it doesn't always have to be about sex, even though it should be. That's just my opinion. You want to keep that togetherness? Kissing. I just did a video about this. Kissing is highly important because it keeps two people bonded. It keeps you connected. Kissing, kissing, kissing every single day. I'm not talking about a little bird peck. No. And kiss your partner as though they are the love of your life. When someone passionately kisses you, it's most endearing. It sends... You know, those little nerves things through your body. It gives you butterflies. It makes you feel wanted. It makes you feel special. So if you're not kissing, I promise you, your little honeymoon phase will dissipate very quickly. So a lot of kissing, a lot of intimacy, romance, flirting, just engaging with each other. You understand what I'm saying? Being respectful talking to each other as though you just met them. Oh, I respect you. I'm going to do this. I didn't want to do this without your opinion. You know, you keep everything light. You keep things the way it should be. Like in those early stages, you try to impress the person. Continue to try to impress your person. Continuously look nice. Look fresh-faced. Be energized. Even if you're not feeling well, well, you may do the best that you can. But you always want to look fresh and revived, not overwhelmed. Because I promise you, if you're not looking the part, it is a turn off. 
for most people. You start looking a certain way, start looking like you're tired. Uh, you can't handle a certain thing. It's going to have an effect on your person. The energies change. And now you're too serious. And now you're both worried. And it, again, it is the perfect way to push away the honeymoon phase. And lastly, I just want to say, people, have fun. Have fun with your person. Laugh. Laugh all the time. Make jokes. Send funny memes or whatever. Do whatever you can to keep that laughter going. Be goofy. Be silly. This is your person. You can be however you want to because they accepted you, right? Just as you are. Yeah. So just do those things that you love doing together. Have Just have fun is all I can say. Have fun, but do your part. Um, as a married, as a as a spouse, you know, can't be too playful, but yeah, never stop laughing. Not never stop making your person laugh and and seeing that funnier side of you. This way, they can reflect on that later and think, oh my gosh, he is so silly. Can't believe he did that. That's what you want. It keeps it going. So those those few things right there will keep you on the path to having that honeymoon phase energy. Just keeping everything light because life is already too serious. Marriage for many people is considered too serious, which is why if you want to keep that honeymoon phase, you're just going to have to do those few things. I know it seems like a lot, a lot of action, but married, being married is not a lazy person sport. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you need further coaching, all of my information will be linked down below. I thank you always. That is all for now. Until next time.